Well, hi everyone. This is a review of the Moen Arbor Faucet with Motion Sense, and the one that I'm going to be showing is in the chrome finish. Everything came packed very well, and even includes the necessary batteries, which was a nice touch. Now, this Motion Sense version replaced the Moen Arbor that I bought back in October that doesn't have the sensors on it. I'd like to add that I've been very happy with the Moen Arbor that I bought, but I had an opportunity to try out a version with the sensors, and I was curious about it, so I did. Here's a look at the new one installed. I mean, they're, they're the same model, they look very similar, but this one has sensors on it. Here is a look around it, uh, just give you a sense for how it looks as you pan around. Um, here is the pull down spout. I want to show that the control can be swiveled 360 degrees, so you can place it anywhere you want. That's what goes from a stream to a spray. Just a close up view of it. Also, you can see the sensors. There's one on the top of the, the neck there. There's also one down at the base. I'll show those working in just a couple seconds. And I apologize for the dimmer lighting on this part. Here I wanted to show that unlike the version without the sensors that can swivel 360 degrees, this one has hard stops that prevent it from moving that far. Also the handle can only be on the right side as opposed to being anywhere in between. But here you can see you turn it hot to cold. So you have the pull down spout with a screen to a spray. You can also pause it by clicking on that control on the back side. It will then go back to a stream or you can go from a spray to a stream by shutting the water off. Here's the sensor working on the top. The top one will work for two minutes at a time uh, or until you wave your hand over the top again. The sensor at the base called the ready sensor, it will only work as long as your hands are in front of it. So for washing hands it's very convenient. Here's a quick look at the control box underneath. This is how you change the temperature of the water coming out when you use the sensors. There's a little dial here. You can tell it's got hot and cold. Uh, you spin it. I happen to have it on the cold setting right there. And now a quick hardware comparison between the motion sense version and the manual version. After pulling my existing faucet out, I laid them out side by side so that you could get a sense for how much more there is to install with the motion sense version. A lot of the parts are the same but the motion sense does require the installation of a control box that contains the solenoid valve used with the sensors. You can see that on the top left of the screen. Because of the control box, there are extra hoses to connect during the installation, but it really wasn't all that bad. And here's a quick look at that control box once so it's been installed. It installs with three screws, one on the top, two on the bottom. There's three water lines that connect on the top with a quick disconnect. There's also three water lines on the bottom. Two of those are permanent installations. Those connect to your hot and cold main water lines. And then the one in the middle is a quick disconnect as well. You can also see there's two black cables that connect, a data line and the power line. And the black box sitting on top is the battery pack that powers the control box. And that's all I have. Thank you very much for watching.